Hello folks, welcome back to our channel. Um, the uh, 280 amp hour, uh, 270 amp hour cells have been around for a long time for standard size sort of cells that we put in our batteries. So these are the ones, these are EVE cells. They're 72 millimeters by 175 by 200 plus the terminals. So this is a standard, what we would call a standard cell size. You get thousands of these all over. Ellie Barber and on the web, <coughs> Amazon, that sort of thing. So we decided to uh, just try some uh, a seller on AliExpress uh, advertising 320 amp hour cells. So they should be the same size. So let's get unboxing and see. The, the reason why we chose these particular cells is they're advertising them at a capacity of 320, which is kind of pushing the limit for that size. Uh, many, many sellers lie on Alibaba and AliExpress. Um, so let's see if these guys are telling the truth or not. So we're first going to unbox these. Let's have a look. See the general condition. Check voltages and things like that. Quite a small box. <clears throat> it's not to say there's a problem with it. It just is a reasonably small box. Right. Let's see what we have inside here. Uh, I'm going to actually bring the camera a little bit closer so that you can see in a bit better detail what it looks like. Right, I brought you right up close. So let's see. Open that up and here we have <coughs> a... Uh, oh, this is, this is good. Compared to uh, so many the sellers sell you the cheap little grub screws that go in. Uh, these guys have got these little studs that you can tighten in with an Allen key. I finally get to actually see this. Oh, they're in a, in a packet within a packet it looks like. Yeah, little <coughs> um, Allen key goes in this end, so that's quite nice. Uh, of course, I prefer the welded studs by a long shot. They give us four bus bars, and they they look okay. They're all wrapped up, so let's undo them. Get to them. I'm curious to see what the dimensions are. <coughs> so these are should be two centimeters, one ninety-eight or one point nine eight, well nineteen point eight millimeters. This is the important part. Ah, two millimeters thick. They haven't skimped. So many of them uh, sell you one and a half millimeters thick. This is two millimeters thick, so that's it's a fairly good bus bar. I don't have any complaints about the bus bars. Let's look at the cells themselves. That's the bottom of the cell, so let's turn it. The first one is always more difficult to get out. Okay. And these have got uh, these welded. Um, uh, nuts if you like, I don't know, welded terminals on here. So you should be able to torque these down to at least uh, eight or so, which is good. <clears throat> so I have no problem with that. So, so far, in terms of the, what the cells look like, I'm happy. I'm going to get all four out and then we're going to check them for any damage. out so far. This is the padding. So each one's sitting in its own little pocket. So quite happy with that. <coughs> Let's get the bottom cells out now. There's 
that one. And the final cell. And again, each cell in a little pocket. Pull all these pockets back. The bottom is quite thick. <coughs> uh, you've got these little corner things here to protect them, protect the edges and that. That's pretty good packaging. I have no, no problem with the way that these cells have been protected in this box. So let's put the box to one side. <coughs> Bring the four cells close together. A little bit bulgy. Let me turn these so that they're exactly side onto the camera. You can see a little bit of rocking, a bit of rocking there. Um, Interestingly, some of the eave cells are also more bulgy than they used to be, but it's not too bad. If I look at each one in turn carefully, no damage. Everything looks clean. 320 amp hours. <coughs> Let's turn the way the same way. Happy with that. Finally, happy with that. Only issue I have so far is they're a little bit bulgy. Uh, compare them to these, you see they're pretty much identical in size to these Eve cells that we've sold several hundred of. <coughs> so let's do some tests. This is a fairly smart machine. That can measure internal resistance as well as uh, voltage. So we're going to get on top here. 0 0.22, 0 0.23, and it's 3.29, okay, 292, uh, The internal resistance is going all over the show, but that could be my probes. 0 0.24 to 0 0.23. Yeah, the one probe is sticking a little bit. <coughs> Let's try the next one. A much higher internal resistance. There must be. Move this about a bit. 0 0.25, 0 0.26, 3.2915. Getting a bit of movement on the uh, internal resistance. Uh, it'll be interesting to see what the capacity comparison is. 0 0.24 and the voltage is 3.293. Trying this final one. <coughs> point two six point two seven and three point two nine three three point two seven point two six point two five start again and just double check point two two internal resistance point two six point two seven point two four Point two six, point two seven. <coughs> so, very similar voltages, uh, which is not uncommon. Um, <coughs> but certainly these these two are closer, and these two are closer to each other. So basically, the ones on this side here have much higher internal resistance than these here. So I would es expect that these cells are going to be quite different capacities, but the actual uh, tests will show. So that's the uh, unboxing of these and the general inspection. Uh, happy with the general condition, very happy with these kind of terminals. I prefer studs like these ones here. So these studs that are welded on here, you can, you can torque these to 10 Newton meters. Um, we usually go to eight, but I'm sure we could go to eight with these, no problem at all. Some people have reported that uh, sometimes they weld these badly and this actually comes off, actually just pulls off after a few months. So we'll see how these are. Um, 
they have been sitting in the box for three or four months uh, just due to being too busy and then being ill and all that sort of stuff um, so uh, they've sat there for a while they've had a chance to discharge but they're still fairly similar voltages but now we are going to top balance them uh, connect them to the testers and see uh, where they take us so unbox the cells uh, check the voltage and the internal resistance um, I'm okay with everything other than the big difference, the internal resistance. But the one thing I forgot to mention, which is uh, really quite important, is that they all have QR codes. Um, I'm assuming that they actually uh, will go to some proper serial number of sorts. Uh, not always, but generally speaking, good cells, you see the QR codes. Having said that, for the, even if they had taken old cells and packaged them up to look like new, um, they'll generally put a new black cover on the top that's got a little cutout where the serial number goes, where the QR code goes. Um, <clears throat> so it's not it's not that big a deal these days because uh, they can cheat the system quite easily. Um, but it is quite nice to see that there are QR codes. Uh, some of the really, really cheap cells that we've tried uh, didn't have QR codes, but these do. So on to uh, top balancing now. I'm going to do a slow top balance on all of these. Um, quite often just because we uh, want to do it quickly we'll connect them as a 12 volt battery do a fast charge then top balance afterwards now uh, these I'm just going to do a slow burn a slow um, top balance so I thought before I put these on to top balancing that I would uh, bring you to a, a nice close-up of the cell to see it in as long as I can keep it in focus not too many shadows that'll work you can see this um, well the terminal is pretty good in the welding let's see if i can get it to come back into focus there we are welding seems to be quite good a good depth of um, the thread it has uh, the ce marking that's standard uh, as you can see it has a qr code prevent so <coughs> looking quite good so far i uh, just lay it on the side you can see the it's rated at 320 um, but in fairly good condition check the bottom there no, no problems no dents or anything like that so let's bring it back up of course the other side is just completely blue but it doesn't have any problem that we can see so quite happy with these four cells so let's get them onto top balancing to top balance these, I'm going to use these um, cables that we made up. I'm going to put all of these little screws in. Just finger tight. I prefer these kind of <coughs> cells that we have with a welded stud on them. <coughs> right, the trick with this, once you start doing this, you've got to actually hold all the others out of the way so that you don't get a nice short circuit going somewhere so that's all our positives done I'll just nip them all up right at the end <coughs> okay just a slight bit Right, we bring our charger. <coughs> this is our top balancing charger. Let's get it plugged in. And 3.6, which will actually come out at 3.65 in the end. Charging at 10 amps for now. Uh, I'm going to charge for a little bit at 10 amps and then I'm going to move it up to about uh, 15 amps. I don't want to go much higher than that because these are going to take uh, several days. So, literally, these are going to be on here for two, three days uh, just running at this low charge. Um, I don't want to uh, cook them, I just want to warm them up a bit first and then 
maybe I'll bring them up to about uh, 15, 20 amps, which means that each one will, in theory, be taking roughly 5 amps of charge, which is great. That's what we kind of want. Right, let's see in about an hour or two's time, and then we'll bump it up. Here's a close-up of the uh, actual charger. So you can see it's running at 3.4-ish volts at the moment. That'll obviously go up right at the end. And uh, 9.73 amps. Uh, the four batteries connected up with those little uh, pigtails on either end. And um, this is the easiest way to top balance, although it takes a long time. Normally we would uh, construct a 12 volt battery, fast charge, and then finish off top balancing, just because we're impatient. But this will work fine. We'll just wait. We'll have patience in this. Thank you.